So I'm uh, Fahad Attar, I'm one of the orthopedic consultant surgeons uh, specializing in lower limb arthroplasty, knee reconstruction surgery, sports medicine and biological therapy. So classically osteoarthritis used to be reserved for the elderly population as they seem to be the most involved and affected by it. But more recently we're seeing a large cohort of patients who are much younger who come in with degenerative changes in the joint following multiple injuries they've had, multiple surgeries they've had. So there are very limited management options for this cohort of patients because they've either failed conservative approach and their joints are not yet fully worn out to warrant joint replacement surgery. So it's mainly directed at this cohort of patients who are quite young, who are still active, who are suffering with pain and uh, it's overall affecting their quality of life. So the aim really is to try and improve their pain, improve the inflammation, restore their function and get them back to their quality of life and usual level of activities. We try and use an evidence-based, innovative approach in managing and treating patients with sports injuries and arthritis. So we have a whole team that is geared uh, towards patient-specific approach and we try and identify the problems the patients have and try and highlight what sort of modality and therapy they require and try and uh, make it more patient-specific for them. At our centre we use a unique approach uh, which is the synthesis combination therapy where we try and utilise the biological healing mechanisms including the stem cell approach um, to help heal and regenerate cartilage and stop further deterioration of the cartilage. We also use the PRP therapy which uh, improves the healing potential inside a joint and further enhances the functioning of the stem cells. And lastly we also add in the viscous supplementation which is the hyaluronic acid which most joints tend to lose uh, in arthritic conditions. So we try and use all three elements to give back the joint what it's lost and hopefully maintain a good healthy healing joint. So the biological treatment options that we have here use the autologous approach because they just use the patient's own cells and own blood. So it reduces uh, any risk involved with contamination or infection. And we further minimize the risk by doing these procedures in our theaters and in uh, clean aseptic environments. So the first step for the patient will be harvesting the cells. This is usually done from the hip area. And once we have the cells, we uh, centrifuge them. So we spin them with regards to trying to concentrate all the mesenchymal stem cells. And the last step would be to inject that back into either the cartilage area where the defect is to enhance healing or into the joint itself, which is arthritic. So the cells are used to heal localized cartilage defects in the joints itself, to use in degenerative joints, and also in areas where we would like to regenerate 